Politics in Florida, local, state, government, or federal, all getting contentious when we have campaigns. It just does in Florida. And joining us uh, after a quick trip up from South Florida, Mariana Mancuso. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. You were part of uh, the Cotty Mac for U.S. Senate campaign and uh, named one of Florida's up and coming conservatives to watch by a political blog called Shark Tank. So we've talked uh, a little bit about the impact of this election last month the way it could change the Republican Party in the future. What do you see there? Because you were successful in one area, your candidate not as successful as you would like. Well, you know, I think at the end of the day, as I was t talking to the gentleman in the green room, we were extremely successful on the digital front, which is what I was brought in to do. I was brought in to run the digital landscape for his campaign. I had a candidate who loved social media, and that made my job a million times easier. He really ran with it. We did some really great things from hashtag MacMentum, our Freedom Tour bus, you know, had this been a campaign on social media, we would have won hands down. That's interesting. Because what I've heard uh, is that social media is really where a lot of the, the battle is done. But it, also, you, you introduced me to this, this phrase, slacktivism. slacktivism. What, what does that mean? What is slacktivism? You know, recently there was an article published by Malcolm Gladwell, and he talks about slacktivism. And slacktivism is now where we see social media, where you can go and like something. The Coney video of 2012, People liked it, and they were advocating it, and they were able to be active in social media and Facebook and Twitter, and that's pretty, what we see. Pretty easily. Yeah, do it doesn't require, such as during the civil rights movement, people would go have sit-ins, they would sit in the back of the bus. You don't see that in social media. You just get to like it or share it with your friends. Yeah. So why is it slack to visit? Well, you don't get to leave the comfort of your home. I mean, you don't have to get out there and pound pavement right. like they had to. Is it easier to get people to do that? It seems like it would be, right? It is. It is. But at the same time, you have to have a message that is easily distributed. 140 characters or less. Keep it simple. Don't get too into yeah. it. Yeah. Now, so social media is something that uh, the president's campaign four years ago was, whoa, wow, look how uh, Mr. Obama used this. Is this something that Republicans grabbed hold of, or was it about a case-by-case, campaign-by-campaign no, basis? No. Actually, after you know, 2008, we saw the Republicans kind of wake up into 2012 and start using it. Romney used it. We used it on that campaign. And it's just something that's taking a hold. And now if you have a campaign, you have to really use social media. Yeah. You said your candidate, Connie Mack, love social media. So what does it take for a, a candidate to embrace that and then be effective there? It wasn't effective enough to upset the incumbent for that U.S. Senate seat. Well, I don't think that it was a matter of social media not being enough to upset the incumbent. Anytime you see an incumbent running for office, they have a 97 percent re-election rate. With social media, Connie loved it. He used it often, and he was a pioneer for it even when he was in the House, and that's something that made it you know, really great for our campaign. Yeah, so as we see some of the, the campaigning here, were you on these trips with Connie, or no? You're back in the back office. You're typing away. You're using social media. I was monitoring Twitter and Facebook and making sure we were getting the videos up and everything was going. It was, it was a whole effort from the campaign to really make sure that we had the momentum that we had. So you, you earned this, this title of up-and-comer in Florida, conservatives, and, and what have you. So how do you think things need to change for the Republican Party going forward? This was not, not very successful, this last general election for the Republican Party across the country. No, it was not. And I think what happens is in 2014, they really need to use more social media. One of the things that Barack Obama did great in, tw in 2008 and 2012 was that he invested in the digital players. He brought a bunch of people on, and he really ran home with social media. We need to really do that again in 2014. We need to make sure that we are using social media and that people are getting out there and the message is easy and we're targeting voters. We just have to use it more efficiently. All right, so what you were just telling me with your campaign, mm -hmm. used it efficiently, used it well. Does the message need to change? Does the, do, does the Republican Party need to change that message or at least how they communicate? Because we talked, it's not going to change the values necessarily no. of the party. Does the message change somehow? How do you reach, for instance, younger voters, or here in Florida, especially Hispanic right. voters, you know, that sort of thing? Yeah, I think we need to bring the message to where the people are, and that is going to be on Facebook and Twitter. The message needs to be short, 140 characters or less, anything further, and people aren't going to pay attention, and they're not going to share it. And we need to really be cognizant of that, as well as the Republicans need to be better at anticipating the next social media trends. Right. And I think the next trend coming is going to be through the mobile phone. Everybody is using mobile devices that are smartphones. We need to have apps. Our websites need to be easier to log in from our iPhone or iPad. And I think that's really going to give us a huge impact in 2014. So if I'm, I'm helping the campaign of a specific candidate, I need, it, I need an app there that's going to tell you what? Remind you on a daily basis of what my candidate's message is or where they're going to be 
or I mean all those sorts of things? Stuff like that. You also want to make sure that you know, not necessarily just an app, but that your website is easily accessible on the iPhone, on the Droid. That way that they can go and learn more about your candidate, they can learn where your candidate is going to be. They can get alerts, text message alerts, saying, hey, your candidate is going to be here in Jacksonville. Come see them. Come support them. Stuff like that. Yeah, Mariana, so you, you, you had this time working for the Connie Mack campaign. You just brought it up. What's next? Anticipate what's next. So what's next for you, up and comer? What's what next? is next for me? Well, Politics 3.0, it's my lecture series. I'm going around speaking with the Republican Party, the chapters in the state, as well as throughout the whole country, about what to do and how we can utilize social media in the upcoming elections so we can take back the White House in 2016. You're already looking at 2016. Absolutely. Look at that. <laughs> looking ahead. Thank you very much, Mariana Mancuso. Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. All right. So.